Booyah! What is good? A fresh pop. I would pour a little out, but we can't. We're here to celebrate Bobby Trees, Bobby Woods, <sighs> Roberto Woodzos. Fuck it. Old Bobby Boards, Robbie Lumber, however you want to go about it. Bobby Lumber. Uh, I'm going to be mad about that. How you doing, Jay Wayne? Oh, I just spilled beer on the floor. I poured one out. He didn't spill. I poured it out. How am I doing? I'm doing okay. Reeling. Because I came to be depending upon Robert Woods here recently. Yeah. And uh, just a bummer out of nowhere torn ACL. Just some bull shit. Right. And uh, now need to replace Bobby Woods. Yeah. Well, today we're you know gonna gonna hit a uh, this is gonna be uh, a buy Tyler Johnson podcast. A buy pod. Uh, so we're just gonna you know we're gonna talk Tyler about Johnson. how to buy Tyler Johnson. <laughs> And I don't know what we were talking about in the beginning there. I blacked out for a second. Um, but, you know, he's a replacement in the making for Godwin, who's on the franchise tag. Can't imagine the cap situation is great for the Bucks. Very similarly built guy. Played well with his very limited opportunities. Tom might already trust him. That's not the pod we're doing right now. Well, who are you talking about? No. Tyler Johnson. <laughs> what did he do this past week? I don't did know. He, just buy he him. Good? He's cheap. He could be a nice little replacement. Nobody gives a shit about Tyler Johnson. Go pluck him off of somebody's roster for super cheap. Anyway. Anyway. If he did not, not he did not have a good week, so you can still uh, still you're still good to go. Yeah. Godwin played. Right. Right. So. That was the whole point. Right. But uh what's his face did? Antonio Brown didn't, but right. Well he'll he'll come up on oh a little slurp. Slurping He's on my scissor. Son of a bitch. So if you're an OG to the podcast, you know we've been a heavy Robert Woods podcast for a very long time. And like you mentioned, this past week in the middle of yet another strong season, the 29-year-old wide receiver went down and practiced with the dreaded ACL. So not great for an older wide receiver uh, to have an injury middle of the season like this. You know, going to be some disappointed owners like us right now and and now maybe you got out of the bobby woods business last season on a non-contending team i know we did in a league that we share together uh, but still lots of bobby tree remains on the tripods collective rosters because uh, like we said we've, we've been a heavy advocate of him for a very long time on this show um, and today we're going to kind of tackle the tough task of replacing the coxman that is <laughs> roberto woodzo i'm a coxman this guy he fucks that's what he does Robert that's for sure. Uh, so we figured what better to, way to do it than to give you kind of real life example of, you know, maybe some of y'all are living in it or, or have, you know, we've kind of gone down this road before of how to chase a championship here. If you're on a contending team and if you had Robert Woods, of course you are. Um, so, you know, we're going to give you a live real example of kind of what we're doing and how we're going to handle it. Um, this league that we're going to talk about today and just kind of use this as the uh, model here, uh, it's a $150 league. It's got a $50 real money waiver system. So, you know, somewhere around a $200 buy-in for 12 teams, pretty standard dynasty league, no tight end premium, just PPR, no super flex. So just pretty standard issue, uh, dry league here. PPR um, gotta be PPR. Gotta be PPR. PPR. I'm not fucking with it. Right. P- only right. PPR fucks. Standard doesn't fuck. Three or four year old league here, um, and we are currently sole owners of first place after squeaking a W out from a late Matt Gay meaningless field goal. Which, oh yeah, that was fantastic! A lot of white guy high fives going down here off the couch. We needed, we needed three. We were down by point one six. We needed th- we needed two yards from Elijah Mitchell, and it wasn't going to happen. Mm-mm. But they kicked a meaningless. It did eventually Matt actually Gay. happen. I think did he, did he actually get yeah. it? But the but, Matt Gay bogus yeah. late game field goal, which really, they didn't uh, kick it early which, in the game. Right, the, which earlier the in the game they faked it, which really, you know, gutted did, us. Yeah, just really, gutted that's us. It's going to come um, back to haunt us. But uh, we digress. We mm-hmm. we did squeak out a win there, and we took sole ownership and and eight and two, you know, eight and two in that league. Most so. points scored. We only have like a twenty something point lead on the to- points, but had a low total this there. week. Lamar wasn't wasn't uh, great and. Uh, no mixing in the lineup for us this week, and our our wide receivers are 
Should be should be strong. We, should we came be, into the season feeling really good about it. But. Right. Should be really strong. You know, Allen Robinson a let down. DJ Moore was strong and has kind of let down. Robert Wood Robert well, not Robert Woods. Uh Robbie Anderson was a huge hopeful on this podcast. Um, and we love the consistency that he put together with with Teddy two gloves, and it's just been and then garbage. He had with Darnold before out there looking like an island boy, just awful, awful. What, and then him and Cam were on the podium together at the end of the game, though. They got the same hair, they may be something percolating. I don't know. So you know, you got Cam coming in. We got two receivers on that team, and you just don't know what's going to happen there. Cam's already not the most accurate guy, but it could be a fun little system that they got rolling there, but we don't know. Allen Robinson's been a letdown. Had his first little resurgent game, maybe after the bye, the barrels could just do four for 60. Could we just do four for 60? Could you get me 10, 12 points? Uh, and maybe get one more, t- more than one touchdown on the season for a Rob here. It's just crazy, right? Um, we got Cortland as well. On that got team. Cortland. We got a bunch of other lower tier guys, and then um, you know, obviously Robbie Woods, who was just holding us down. Um, and we got hitters everywhere else. You mentioned Lamar. We got Jonathan Taylor, right? We Mixon. got Joe Mixon. We got uh, Elijah Hunt. Mitchell, Kareem Hunt on IR, on IR. waiting for him to yep. come back. So Kittle, Kittle's and, and holding Goddard. down. Yep. Um, so we're, we're you know. Like I said, pretty strong team here. And so we're just going to kind of go over, you know, what our thought process was here and, and how you can apply it to Robert Woods or, you know, any other team that might be contending. Right. Because at this point in the season, if you're contending, I'm sure you've lost someone. And what are we doing if not trying to win a championship? So when the time presents itself and we're late enough in the season to know whether or not you got a legitimate shot. Right. Why not bolster up your st- you're, you're, you're stable, right? You know, and you don't want to give away really anything that you have, right? So we're talking picks. We want to try and take our picks future here. Picks. And I get it. You know, they, they're, nothing can happen to the picks. They're insured, basically. You know, they can. They're only going to grow as as they're the not get injured. Rookie draft uh, gr- grows, but it's the equity that I have to spend to try to win money. Um, it's and, the beauty of dynasty. You right. can forge some of the future to go and try and win right. now. And then, you know, hopefully you're building enough depth to then go back and get some more twos and threes and maybe even a one back here uh, when it's maybe not quite your season. Um, so here what we're going to do right off the rip is, you know, we go in those standings. We see, you know, who's hold, what squads are holding down the bottom of the league. We got a couple of one and nine teams. We got a three and seven. And then you kind of get to those borderline teams, a four and six, a five and five. Uh, whose roster isn't super strong, and then a six and four who just lost King Henry. Julio's been in and out, um, and his roster isn't really super strong. So maybe not quite. Um, maybe the the four and six. Maybe he's not willing to admit that he's lost yet. Maybe the five and five is still hanging on. He's not wrapped around that. Hey, this this roster probably isn't going to compete with these these higher end rosters up here. And the six and four guy who lost Henry, maybe he's actively trying to find somebody to replace Henry with. So maybe you're not going to be able to trade with that six and four guy whose uh, team just lost this week, his first week without Henry and all those kind of things. I could so, also see that owner being like, Bop, season's over. Sure. So lost Henry. Not say like, that's kind of why I included him on here to, to say that those would be the first stops on the list of where I'm sending them out. And then also that what I would then do is then go see who on who has what guys are on those teams. I'm not going to go targeting, even though I think you should be targeting Elijah Moore and trying to get him as much as you can. I think or you should Michael be Pittman, you know, the Pittmans of the world and the Javante Williams and the Jalen Waddles. I think you should be targeting those guys. But the, the teams that are bad aren't, aren't going to. Why would you want to sell your, the only bright spot you have on your team? Um, unless you're going to grossly overpay, which, you know, if, if, if maybe you can get in there and overpay and still leave some meat on the bones two years down the line because you think he's just going to be a superstar, one of the top 10 dynasty assets. Right. And, and one of the points that I, I want to make real quick in, in terms of what we're trying to do here is you said it off air. I wrote it down because I wanted to make sure we mentioned it. We're not trying to knock the socks off of anyone here. We're not trying to right. just spend an incredible amount. We, we want to. We want a good to a to fair deal, right? right? We're looking for a good to borderline fair deal. We don't want to knock someone's socks off. We right. we do have our first for the next two years, and we have two twos in twenty two, as well as our all our picks in twenty three. So we have we all have, our picks in twenty three, including three thirds already in twenty three. Nice. Okay, so we got an extra two and and two extra threes, all our ones. So we have our our a little bit more than your standard issue 
Uh, it's the ammo. first time in the history of this league we've come into two drafts in a row with all of our picks and extra picks because we traded a bunch to get John. We traded up to get Jonathan Taylor, and yep. we had traded the first year. Um, we've won this league, or no, I don't we think we've second. won. We got second the first year. What are you going to do? Another year, and uh, haven't quite gotten over the top here. So one, try- I think we've won the points multiple times because you get the that fifty dollar, yeah. you know, the, which is like how much money do you want to spend on picking up a guy this week? Like it's literal dollars, right? It's kind of fun, but what you're saying in the don't knock your socks off thing also then relays into the guys that that you're kind of plucking off the one and nines, the three and sevens, the four and sixes. You're going after um, maybe some of the older guys who aren't the sexiest guys in the world. And, you know, and maybe maybe still are or but have questions maybe moving forward about what they are. So some of the guys on some of those teams are uh, a Mike Evans. Is on is on one of those low end roster teams. Perpetually disrespected. Right. Nobody likes Mike Evans. He's a, he was the best guy left in every dynasty startup we did this off season. Yep. He's twenty eight, so he can't be any good. Right. But if you look at the contract, right. he's stuck there for two more years. As long they don't as have, Tommy's around. Mike's probably going to be around. Now, maybe a, Tommy retires, but they got four point four dead in in twenty four. That's like the best deal they can do. I think it's like eleven or twelve dead the year right. before that. And it's like, why would you? cut a guy wouldn't if you have to have that much dead money so as long as tommy's there i'm gonna repeat it mike evans is there so like mike evans i I, it's a great trade target yeah so first first these are all the kind of guys that we're trying to uh get to either replace or maybe even upgrade rob lumber uh here Mm -hmm. that we're selling um i'm just trying to see how many different uh, things I can come up with here. Anyway, you can't see the Robert Robert the Woods Woods. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Mike Evans, uh, Keenan Allen is on one of these rosters. We're we're mostly looking to upgrade the wide receiver room, but because before the Robert Woods injury even happened, we were looking to upgrade this. To add a guy. But now we're kind of like, hey, now we, we definitely need, need to uh, add a guy, and I'd be willing to trade that first and both of those two twos to maybe pick up two guys here. Uh, right. Maybe try to find somebody you could pick up for a first. Maybe try to find a guy you could pick up for the two twos. Right. Um, so Mike Evans, uh, Keenan Allen, Cordero Patterson's in there. He's a wide receiver in this league. Um, uh, so what are Thielen? some other guys? Thielen's maybe maybe, maybe some Patterson Adam team. Thielen, Cordero Patterson. Thielen's um, a guy that also was left for dead. Sure. He's 31, so no way he could be good. I would argue he's a young 31. He got started late, but still 31. But if yeah. you look at his contract... He's got uh, there's there's eleven million dead in twenty two. I don't see him cutting him next year, and they damn sure can't cut Kirk Cousins. I mean, I guess they could trade these dudes, but there's forty five million dead in Kirk yeah. Cousins for twenty two, so he's there. Keenan's not going anywhere. Keenan has another at least another year on his deal, I believe. Man, I had it written up here. I think they said something on Spot Track that 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 there was a, a potential out with fourteen million dead or something. Yeah. I'm like, how the fuck is that? A potential out. It might even have been something like twenty four million dead or something outrageous. So he's got at least one more year. Right. He's two years younger than Thielen. So but all these guys are older dudes. Again, the that theme seem there like they're on the end of their pitiful being, road, right. but they still have life moving forward this year and next year, which makes them a great target yes. for a team like us 100%. because we're not only going to be ready to go this year, we're going to be ready to go fucking next year. Right. So I'm down to getting these older dudes to have for another year at exactly. least. Exactly. And on these losing teams, they're guys that they see them as depreciating assets that maybe they're not even going to be ready to go next season and not helping them out. So hey, let's get some more picks. Let's bolster up. Up. Let's get younger and and mm-hmm. be get get excited. You know, I'm not excited about Mike Evans on my team anymore. I want to be excited about drafting. Uh, you know, who the hell? You know, Traylon Burks, or right? Samir name? Dobson or whatever the hell. You know, I want to get excited about those guys, and 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 they will. Um, we got Angelo coming up. We're gonna learn about these 22 rookies. Coming. Right. Stay tuned. Um, that's why you got to hit that subby button. So that's that kind of the subscribe. idea there of, of what we're trying to do. We're going to we're going to send out, you know, an offer for Mike Evans. We're going to start with two twos. Uh, we're going to start with those two twos. Now, is two twos going to get it done? We don't know. Maybe not. Probably not. not. Probably not. I'm trying to start the conversation. Um, but here. we'll start the conversation and maybe get, it gets accepted. Uh, we're going to do the same thing with Keenan Allen. Two twos. Let's see what let's see what we can get going here. Could, maybe somebody's just like, OK, I'll take those two twos or maybe we can get you know, a little back and forth and we can figure out a nice middle ground where both of us get a little something that we need. Now, there's a couple other guys on this list on on the bad teams where, you know, one guy has Devontae Adams. His team's not super great, needs to get younger. He's got a couple young guys, but he wants to get 
younger. We just started with a straight up first. Maybe we know it's not enough. I know that's, you know, but maybe there's enough in of, you know, hey, uh, we don't know what's going to happen next year with Devontae Adams, what's Aaron Rodgers going to do, all of those kind of things. I'm not expecting to necessarily get him for a first. I'm just sending it out there to say, hey, we're interested. Here's a first. Uh, you know, maybe maybe he would just say, all right, well, let me take it. You never know. You, mm-hmm. you see how many times in a league do you see a trade offer go down and you're like, damn, I would have gave him way know, more a first and two twos for that. Right. Um, and maybe there's a guy on our team he likes that we could throw in for the first. You know, if he wanted to say, like, let me get Goddard, would you part with Goddard here in this instance? The only reason I wouldn't. We got Kittle. The but only Kittle reason gets I hurt. wouldn't trade away Goddard right now is because we might need him. We have Kittle and we might need him. Um and, you know, Kittle's a savage when he's out there. Right. But when he's not. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and then a Deontay Johnson is on another one of these bad teams. He's got a questionable future where people are like, mm, who knows what's going to happen with the Steelers next year. And I feel like he doesn't you know, have like a the, big. If you're not in the dynasty kind of realm and these are mostly um, norms. Small moxie. These are norms over here, or I don't know what you want to call them, but people who Perennially aren't, high aren't guys. The, this this league almost. this league of guys are normal people. They're not anybody who's like living and dying dynasty in 30 leagues in all muggles. the dynasty. They're muggles. Right. So <laughs> Deontay Johnson, I don't think in that circle has really, unless you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, has really been elevated to like a guy that is ever, everybody's name of like, oh yeah, go get Deontay Johnson. So we have a first out for him. We'll see if we can you know, track him down and, and, um, but that guy also has the Keenan Allen. So, you know, we're just throwing stuff up against the wall, seeing what we can get going, trying to find maybe some older guys or some, maybe not quite to the level where we think that they should be in, in the mind of a normal fantasy player. That isn't a, a, a guy who, you know, listens to a ton of podcasts analysts, you know, is just trading, 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 trading. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with, with, with all of those guys, you know, a two for Cordero Patterson all day long. I'd probably send a two for Thielen, see if that gets it done. Um, and then see if that conversation can get rolling. And it's not to say you can't go and trade, um, for, with the other guys in the league. It's just, you know, they're probably not trading any of their higher end assets or medium assets. Not if they're trying to win. Right. And they're all competing right now. So, but you know, if you wanted to, I, I think a guy like Hunter Renfro on a mm. guy on a team that's trying to compete, maybe he's not in somebody's starting lineup and they're just like, Hey, you know, I got, I, I got, you know, found money here with, uh, Hunter Renfro and you know on this team that we have he'd be a great little addition that we could just be like all right we'll lock him in for 10 12 points a week if he scores right. a touchdown at 16 or 17 he's been double digits pretty much every week except one for maybe time. one and you know maybe a two's an overpay but I would pay the two right now for this competing team to throw him in there uh, I don't see how it's an overpay I mean he's also he's starting to become like a little dynasty. He's got some dynasty moxie growing next to his name. He, all, every time you turn around, there's some highlight of him cooking some dude in yeah. the end zone on the whip route. Like just this past week, he fell down on the route and still right. cooked the shit out of that dude and scored a touchdown. Right. And, and, and he's getting you 10 points or 6 to 17, 16, 17 with the touchdown, which Carr's loving him. And I mean, he's just. Right. That's a great PPR type player and a great guy for a team like ours who has heavy hitters. We can we don't need a wide receiver to come in and dominate right. for our team. We're we're doing that in, I'd the, love in the it running back and quarterback spot and tied in. We we just need some steady points. And I would love to plug Hunter Renfro in yeah. and not have to worry about Allen Robinson. Is he gonna get me zero or, or which Robbie Panthers Anderson. receiver is it gonna right. be or any of them right. can can facilitate for them. Um not that you know, I'm probably starting DJ Moore, but I got. We got it. Yeah. We have to. We don't um, have another choice. So, you got you got some more. Anything to add to this uh, diatribe here on kind of where we're at and what we're doing? Yeah. So for our listeners' pleasure, I just went through some lists and tried to find some some other guys that might be you know because like Casey said, we are going and targeting a specific group of teams in our league who aren't competing, and we're trying to pluck people who they might not seem to think are long term dynasty assets and. That's kind of the angle, right? Similar to um, rebuilding, right? It was kind of the opposite idea. We're trying to go find teams on competing right. teams. We're trying to go find players who aren't producing on competing teams and give them someone who is competing, like who's scoring points, to try Correct. and prepare for, you know, get get some points out of our line, lineup in the short term and grab a longer-term dynasty asset, like the guy that's on IR or something. Um, but, but, you know, opposite mindset here, we're – 
pushing for a championship. And so, you know, many of our listeners are as well. I've mentioned before on our Discord channel, a lot of trades on who to go trade for to help push for a ship, right? Not a ton of rebuilding over on the FF Dynasty uh, Patreon. I think they're doing so well because of our rookie hit percentage, which is at 110%. It's at um, least so those 77. Are, those are straight facts. Percent. Keeping it 100. Uh, um, I mean, <laughs> how do you calculate rookie hit percentage? Someone tell me. Leave a comment in the section below. All right, Amari Cooper. Would you? Would you? Would you start? I don't think two twos is getting it done. But maybe no, it but is. I think that's a, but I think that's a good call. He is on one of those teams that's teetering in the four and six mark. So I think Amari Cooper in general is probably kind of a little injury prone. People are kind of in. Hasn't mostly produced out. recently in the last couple He kind of stuck around weeks. in startup drafts to tell you where the temperature was in general on him. Uh, you know, a little slow the last couple of weeks. Um, so, he yeah. He does have. Let's see. He has. They could cut him next year with six million dead. I'm fine with like I, I don't know if they will or not. He's fine I, wherever. I, right, so. I'd be fine. It could be a nice fresh start, or I'm fine with him staying with Dak. I would drop two twos on him. I don't know if that would get that done. We're not saying that these would get anything. We're, these are conversation starters to see where they go, and maybe they do get it done. Right. Um, but Josh Jacobs, as well. He just came off a bad game. Sure. I mean, um, I'm, I'm down. I'd be trying to go get Monty, Josh Jacobs, Leonard. Yeah, I, I'd send feelers out for Ceh. We're not. This isn't a running back show. I mean, I feel like CMC and Saquon's value are both down. I'd be trying. That's someone well, I I would pay. CMC a lot. just came back and showed you why you drafted him Fair. this week. Yeah, um, but, but still, maybe, maybe with that little hammy Nick, he's everywhere you read. It's hate, like he back. can't sustain this. His body can't take it. It's like shut the fuck up. Yeah, he got well, injured a little bit, and, then, like, and now you now he's he got running a backs hammy. aren't allowed to get injured. He got a any little hammy. Fucking else, any <laughs> other goddamn player can get fucking hurt. And they'll make an excuse for him. But if a running back gets hurt, oh, that's why you don't pay running backs. Just, running backs get hurt. Every fucking player gets hurt. Yeah. Well, the fuck up with this. Running shit. backs take a lot more abuse and do get hurt at a higher clip. Sure. Um, They're but also producing at a higher clip. So you take the good with the bad. Normally. Um, and, and like you said, maybe maybe CMC is down a little because he exited in the third quarter with a little hammy again. Hmm. So He did come back. We're digressing. But, you know, I, down to make trades for running backs, too. But, you know, in this position, we, we have four – Pretty good running backs if we can get Hunt back. And we have Elijah Mitchell who's dealing with the finger sprain. But we still got Taylor and Mixon. So, you know, everyone thinks they're good at running back till they're not. But right. I do feel like wide receiver is a point of contention for this team that we need to, to bolster. So, uh, let's see. Antonio Brown, that was, an, that was a guy we could go target. Another guy on one of those shitty teams. He's just – it's a little riskier because you got uh, – he's, he's kind of an idiot. Right. Well, and then, and then you don't hasn't know. played in a while. The, the injury's been kind of mysterious. They just really... shed the boot like right. a week ago, and then they said that he was walking gingerly, and that they didn't see him running. And then he tweets out something today that said fireworks soon. I don't know if he's like maybe hosting a fireworks show. Maybe he's into displays now. I know? don't know how soon, soon. You know, in right. biblical terms, soon could be decades or right. millenniums. You know, right. I don't know. Uh, so I don't know if I could trust a B. But it's a risk that could really right. pay off, you know? You, you throw a two out there, see if it sticks on a bad team. Somebody thought had kept him long enough that he was dead and he's back alive. And maybe they, maybe you get a two. And, you know, right now we we probably need somebody who's maybe going to make it back before the fantasy playoffs potentially. But, I mean, if you could tread water and find another trade partner and, and grab another guy who could help you out through there, AB could be huge down the stretch because he's been great. You see trade tread Bobby Wooder? <laughs> I didn't, but northern guys. I mean, it's water. It's water. 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 All right. Brandon Cooks. Sure. I mean, throw if, a two. See if it sticks. I mean, I, I I'd start with two twos on Cooks. Two twos on Cooks. Yeah. I'll start with one two. Mm-hmm. Nobody likes Cooks. Texans yeah, nobody suck. Not. Nobody likes Cooks. Even if you have him, I can't see you liking him. You're the only person that likes Cooks. Love Cooks. <laughs> uh, let's see. We talked about Mooney on the Bears show. Still down to throw a two out for that guy, no matter who has him on their team. And he could be a potential starter for you and a good dynasty asset. Uh, let's see. You mentioned Renfro. I think that's that's pretty much all I got in terms of uh, – okay. oh, here's a good one. Mike Williams. Would you trade for Mike Williams right now? He's had like three down games in a row. Knee swelling. Yeah, the, knee, the knee sprain. He's an unrestricted deal. free agent at the end of this year. He's playing on his fifth year. You know. I don't know if I, I if I could get a good deal on Mike Williams. I would. I, I probably like. I feel like 
He, he came can't back get in him for a two. He, no, right? so I wouldn't sell I him for a two. I can't imagine. No way. What about two twos? Would you trade two twos? I I don't know. I don't. I, I honestly, I can't. I can't say. I don't. Because it's a good time, right? When they're not. This is a buy low opportunity. Yeah, I just. But feel we like are trying to make a push. He came in. He played well, and his elevated value was the left value, for dead, and now and it's been. Yeah, he elevated it up. Now there's a there's a knee issue here. Which the coach tried to say that's not the cause of which he was getting targeted. Yeah. You know, and he almost had a, a bigger couple. play here and there. So I mean and that's I feel like that's been the case a couple weeks in a row. I've actually been start I've started Mike Williams like two games in a row coming off that first week after the bye. Starting Mike Williams like every week. Well I was, but then after the bye I let it let it rest and then I he didn't produce, but I watched a game and there was a decent amount of targets and I was like, Well, it's just missing on some of these. But they're also talking about how defenses are greatly playing them differently and really trying to shut down those long, you know, we're seeing these high potent powered offenses getting stymied. Getting humbled a little bit for a little while. Right. And they bounce back, mm-hmm. right? The Chiefs bounce back finally. The Cowboys bounce back, but the Chargers are in a bit of a lull. The Bengals got beat up. Uh Buffalo is struggling. So these teams are figuring out they're they're like not wanting to get beat. Right, yeah. you, you make them. Not everybody can take sixteen plays down the field and score like the Niners did. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you started. You saw saw the attitude change a little bit on the on the um, on the Chiefs this week to kind of take take what the defense has given you a lot a lot more here, and and you know Daryl Williams having a hundred receiving yards and uh, taking some taking some shorter stuff, and obviously he had the one big touchdown as well. Um, but yeah. So right. you're not trying to trade for Mike Williams, though. You think you let that sit and just pass on trying to trade for? I Mike don't know. Williams? I, I honestly, I don't have a great answer for that. So you know. I think I think silence is is uh, compliant compliance. No. <laughs> it's, it's 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 telling, right? So you you don't feel good about it. You'd be like, yeah, sure. From yeah, you yeah, give me Mike Williams. But that's not how you're feeling. I'm I'm fine with that. Do you think Van Jefferson is a guy that you? That's too I, I, a two I is too much. I wouldn't right? trade a two. No. Two's too much, and you're probably you're not getting in for a three. We tried that already; it didn't work. Yeah, probably not. So, all right. Well, Odell. Oh God, get rid of him! I can't. I just can't. Okay. I I don't know. I guess. I mean, what are you going to offer? You give up a two? I guess. I mean, I guess I, I, could. I, I I think you start at a two and see if somebody's just feels the way you feel. Ah, oh, get rid of him. Let me get a two. Him. And who cares about a two? Yeah. At the end of the day, so. I mean, we got him in one of the uh, yeah the Pleasure Town League, and uh, in the Discord, they were like, "Oh, now we're gonna have to hear more Odell." Uh, and I was like, "Oddly, I'm, you know, intrigued, intrigued you about." Kind of, see, see, I'm just kind of uh, adding, Betty intrigued, adding to the public intrigue of more more Odell chatter. Uh, but I'm interested. We'll see what happens. And it's then, stupid video obviously, the Robbie going Robert back to Woods Cali, of, to make a- uh, the injury, you know. Makes it uh, makes it more appealing, I guess. Right, but then the way that the, the line the and they got to buy this week, which they desperately need because they're sputtering. Them boys are reeling. I mean, it's just the NFL, man. This yeah, it's kind of how it goes. It's pretty Stafford hard to, was does, did not look good. No, Monday so, I mean, night it hadn't looked good in the past two night games. Um, so, but I mean, the Niners have had McVay's number regardless of what's going on and the Titans have have beaten all the good teams in the in the AFC and NFC basically that they face they lose to the Jets and you know a, a trash team or two here and there and then they, they crush everybody and, and all of a sudden that defense uh, looks like a real problem that they were all up on in Stafford's grill they were all over Stafford uh, that entire game and that was two weeks ago yeah and you know I like I like the style that 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 Tennessee brings and the Henry, the Henry deal was a, was a blow. That sucks. Um, so anyhow, let's no, get out of here. Appreciate y'all. FF out. Go ahead and like, and subscribe. Five star review on the podcast would be greatly appreciated. Um, and come, come check us out. We got Angelo coming on sometime soon here to talk about all the 2023 prospects. Get you familiar with those. Uh, Maybe I got not some, all of them, but we're well, going to get into it. Familiar with the ones that you need to know about right now. Um, and as soon as we get some new ADP, we'll probably give you a little ADP breakdown. So all those things are a reason to subscribe. Appreciate y'all joining us. Peace.